Well, hello guys. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, today I will show you actually how to um, <laughs> look at files on your hard drive that's taking up space, basically. Whether you're good of computers or not so good at all, you can actually use what I'm about to show you very easily and uh, it will help you out a lot. Because, I mean, sometimes you, you know, you look at your computer and you discover your hard drive space is suddenly full and you don't know what happened, you know. But uh, whether you've downloaded something, or whether you left something on recording, or whether something is just plain and simply taking up space on your computer, you can use the next steps to, you know, discover what that is, and how to actually delete whatever is taking up space. All right. First thing, what you will do is you will download a program called Windowsstat. I will leave a link in the description below where you can actually get that program. All right. Now you go to Windows Set, you, uh, you know, after you've actually installed it, double click on it. Then you will select the hard drive that you want. I have a bunch of hard drives, so that they <laughs> don't let this confuse you. Um, I'm going to select L. Or you can select multiple hard drives, depending on how many you have. But I want to select L because I realize there is, you know, suddenly a bunch of space that has gone missing on L. Then I, after it's selected, I click OK. Then Windows Set will actually scan the hard drive and it will, you know, show me a bunch when it's finished scanning actually, when those little Pac-Man, you know, faces go away. It will actually show me the folders on my left hand side. It will show me an extensions bar with the color tabs on my right and also color tabs basically at the bottom, you know, these little blocks and stuff. Okay, you can actually see here at the fold, you know, on the folders how much space it's each folder is taking now don't go on and just you know delete an entire folder don't don't do that you may be you know maybe you'll actually accidentally delete some work or personal pictures or music or whatever you want you know whatever you have on your computer so what you do is you go to your right hand side or you can go to your bottom if you know what it is basically the bigger the block the more space it takes up whatever it is or you can go to your right hand side here and you will see AVI 25.8 gigabytes okay so that's taking up a lot now I want to click on that I don't want to delete the dot that files because that's um, program files basically so I want the AVI files which is usually video files or mp4 files or also video files anyway I'm going to click on this little red block or you can just click on the name it doesn't matter it will then highlight the blocks for you here at the bottom showing you what is uh, the 25 gigabytes basically so it's one two three and you know one little tiny little block here at the bottom like I said the bigger the block the more space it takes up so I'm going to click on the biggest block and then on my left hand side it actually show me what that block is so it's FC Primal. So what I can do next is I can either go to the folder where that file is located or the hard drive or wherever it is. Okay, this one is directly on the hard drive. If this one was on the folder, I would let's say right click on ESO and, accept, and I would say open. But it's not, it's on the hard drive. So I am going to right click on the hard drive and say open. And voila, I'm actually exactly where the file is located. So then I can scroll down or up and just as soon as I find it, hmm, where is it? Oh, there it is. All right. FC Primal, I can actually, you know, delete it directly from here or I can, like I did before, click on the big block, you know, discover where it is, right click on it and say delete to recycle bin or you can say delete no way to undelete that will delete it permanently don't even send it to recycle bin so you don't need to right click on the recycle bin and say empty you can just delete it permanently so I'm going to do that and yes so I will be freeing up 14 gigabytes of hard drive space and voila files gone now I simply exit Windows that and I will actually see that I have now yeah 89 gigabytes of free space where I was missing 14 gigabytes before now I have you know more space again 
so anyway guys I hope this video helped you and um, I hope you enjoyed watching subscribe and like the video thank you